seeds have long been considered a superfood. Health-conscious people love to blend them into smoothies and sprinkle them on oatmeal. But those are not the only way you can eat hemp. Hemp milk is popular, as is soy-free hemp tempeh, which I suppose you could call hempeh, and I think I will. And since hemp seeds can be milled into flour, you can use it to make pasta, pizza, and cookies. And Australia has been experimenting with edible hemp for a long time. But before you dive headfirst into a bowl of hemp pasta, you might have some questions. Which parts of the hemp plant can you eat? What makes hemp so healthy? Will eating hemp get you high? How could it change agriculture? We'd love you to stick around so you can learn all about this remarkable plant. While you can use fibers from most of the hemp plant to make textiles, only its leaves and seeds are edible. Hemp seed flour can be used to make all kinds of foods. This is good news since hemp has many health benefits. Hemp seeds are unique because they're a complete protein, meaning they contain all nine essential amino acids. Usually you'd have to eat animal products to consume complete proteins. Hemp seeds also have omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids. These nutritious little seeds are also rich in vitamins and minerals, including vitamin E, magnesium, and potassium. So eating hemp helps you get your daily dose of vitamins, healthy fats, and protein. But you might still be wondering, can it make you get high? Hemp does come from the famous cannabis sativa plant known for its psychoactive effects, but eating hemp will not, I repeat, will not get you high. It's easy to confuse hemp with a plant called pot, weed, or reefer. Taxonomists classify them as the same plant. They even look and smell similar. However, marijuana contains about 5 to 30% tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC, the substance that makes you feel high and sometimes causes you to eat every last item in your pantry. But in the US, hemp contains less than 0.3% THC. People have consumed hemp for its health benefits since ancient times. In China and Siberia, some shamans' graves from as early as 500 BCE contained burnt cannabis seeds. Hemp is also a highly sustainable plant. Hemp got its nickname, weed, because it grows quickly and naturally resists most pests. And it requires less water than most crops. Since the entire plant is usable, there's no waste. So why doesn't everyone you know eat hemp? Well, in the US, hemp was tied up by regulations. In 1970, the Controlled Substances Act classified hemp as a Schedule I drug, even though it doesn't get you high. A 2018 amendment to the Farm Bill legalized growing hemp. But we must overcome another obstacle before it can become a staple food source. As a crop, hemp is behind the game in genetics. Creating economically viable strains is an important step toward farming more hemp. But change is coming. The hemp industry is booming in India, China, and Australia. And there's hope that you'll eventually find hemp-based meat alternatives in local grocery stores one day. So the next time you're munching on acai sprinkled with hemp seeds, take a moment to appreciate this extraordinary plant and the journey it took to get to you. If you think hemp is an enlightening topic, maybe you should learn about the origins of chocolate. It also comes from a unique seed. Check it out in another episode of Origins of Food. Thank <laughs> you.